What's up guys, Kyle here with Draft Beer Dispense. I wanna to talk to you guys today about the beer pump. Flowjet beer pumps. Um, and these guys are really cool. I use these a lot on uh, projects that I do uh, with some commercial clients or large uh, breweries um, you know, across the country. But what's cool about these guys is if we ever need to get beer like to a far off place somewhere on the other side of a casino or a large brewery, uh, we use these guys a lot, but basically it's a beer pump It gets put up in your cooler area and it's got two um, uh, Inlets or hose uh, I guess ports uh, They have hose fittings the hose fittings on them are 3 8 uh, ID uh, And one of the ports basically gets hooked up into your beer coupler that runs down your jumper line to your coupler And that gets tapped into your keg and that feeds this guy And then the other one basically is the outlet that takes the beer and we usually hook up uh, into a fob and that's another you know piece of equipment I'll, I'll talk to you guys about or strict uh, strictly into your beer trunk line that takes the beer out to the bar or where you're dispensing beer um, but really these are great because we can make sure that the pressure stays the same on the uh, keg without like over carbonating the beer if you're using pure co2 um, but and then we'll have a regulator that regulates this so I can get the pressure up to about 90 psi I've never gotten it that high but usually between 30 you know it's about 45 50 is the range that we're in depending on how far we're pumping beer but I like these guys because I don't have to use mixed gas uh, nitrogen you can use it that's another alternative to pump beer different uh, distances uh, but I just don't like putting nitrogen on beers unless they're nitrogenated beers because over time um, It'll ruin the integrity of the beer cause it to go stale and I just don't like dealing with it and um, I use pretty much co2 to uh, run these guys. So there's a little brass inlet right here You can feed it with co2 um, Or you can use compressed air off a compressor that works just fine, but this allows us to pump beer uh, a ways away can also be used on like bright tanks uh, casts as well uh, but yeah, these guys are pretty cool. Um, they just help you get beer long distances without having to worry about keeping mixed gas on your uh, beer lines. And um, uh, really, uh, oh, and this guy is actually um, pretty important. This little piece right here, there's a little vent. You pop that off, there's a little hose uh, fitting. Um, and if you're using CO2, you wanna make sure you vent these because when they are working, they're exhaling CO2. And if you're in like a closed area or room, uh, in a beer cooler, and there's even a little sticker here that, that talks about it. Um, you wanna make sure you vent that. So how we do it is we'll take a, a piece of quarter inch ID tubing, hook it up to uh, this one, the vent side, and we'll run that line outside of the cooler just to make sure it vents because you don't want these things to be pumping if you're using CO2, um, filling a beer cooler full of uh, CO2, that's not good. But if you're using compressed air, you don't need to worry about that. But yeah, that's pretty much the beer pump um, right here. And I'll talk a little bit more about you know some of the other parts that go into this and you know attachments we go above it. But this is the beer pump, and uh, yeah, I'll talk with you guys soon. Cheers.